Welcome back, True Seeker. Yesterday, January 15th, 2018, Martin Luther King Jr. Day in the United States. Cyril Regis, very famous football player in Europe, dropped dead out of nowhere at age 59. Surprised death, he was in great health. Also, yesterday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, famous black singer, Edwin Hawkins, drops dead at age 74. And if you're new to my channel, these are numbers we're talking about all the time in regards to celebrity sacrifice, murder by numbers. The word kill has gematria of 59. The word killing has gematria of 74. And with regards to 59, it's also a number stamped all over black history. Negro 59, slave 59, blues 59. Black History Month in the United States is February, which ends on the 28th day, the awkward month. That's the 59th day of the year and not arbitrarily. Talked more about that yesterday. But understand, it's murder by numbers. And anytime these celebrities die, they emphasize things in the headlines that give away why they were killed on the day they were. So all media is remembering his song, Oh Happy Day. Famous song. Oh, happy day, using our base cipher, sums to 151. And he died on January 15th, the date that's written 15-1 in the majority of the world. Remember, in the Bible, Jesus has skin of bronze. He has hair of wool. If you read the books that have been removed from the Bible, it makes it very clear that the Jewish people, the Jews of the Bible are black people. Methuselah, the oldest person in the Old Testament. There's the story that's been removed from the Bible about how he gives birth to a white child and he doesn't know what to think. You know, he can't believe that the child's white. Anyway, it's very clear in the Bible, based on what's been taken out, even what's left in, that Jesus was someone of African descent. People are saying, he wasn't black. Every time I say this, people just comment, you know, he's not black. There's no evidence he's black. You guys, all, all the evidence that exists from the story points to him being black, okay? I, I don't know what other argument is out there. I, I don't know who else has hair of wool and bronze skin. Okay, people that are mixed with Africans? Yeah, possibly. But the point is, he's still of African descent. And that's why I'm always showing how these murder rituals of black men are using the same numbers of Jesus Christ. Now this man dropped dead at age 74 on January 15th, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, famous black American. Notice Jesus Christ has gematria of 74 and 151. You know? Jesus in gematria 74, cross 74, Masonic 74, killing 74, Messiah 74, gospel 74, parable 74. Significant. Killing and Masonic are also 115. Yesterday, the death of the Cranberry Singer. You know, another ritual murder at age 46. Sacrifice equals 46. Again, the 46th book of the Bible, or excuse me, 46th chapter of the Bible, which is Genesis 46, begins with a sacrifice. Another number often seen around this ritualistic killing. Notice he was born in Oakland, Masonic hotbed. He was also born in 43, Jesus Christ 43. One more number, you know, one more connection. His death came 21 weeks and three days after his 74th birthday. That stands out right away. A lot of black people have been killed by the number 213. Black History Month equals 213. Death in Satanic Gematria, also 213. Tupac Shakur released his final studio album, While Alive, All Eyes on Me, February 13th. He died 213 days later. And for some reason, <laughs> I can't get off. Why is it like that? Huh. Oh, well, there we go. But anyway, back on point with regards to 59 being this number stamped on black people. Look at this guy's name, Edwin Hawkins. You know, Edwin Hawkins, dead at 74. Edwin Hawkins, 59. If you use the septenary cipher, remember, Jesus Christ also has gematria of 59. You know, number stamped all over the black race. And again, the word kill, 59. 
and so many other things as we've talked about. You know, Rodney King equals 59. They beat him nearly to death on March 3rd, 3-3. Police equals 33. LAPD, 33. But this is what it is, you know. For years, talking about the same patterns. People always dying by the exact same numbers. And it just continues on and on. Last video I just put out this morning, talking about the death of Prince and his connection to the Super Bowl. He died 74 days after Super Bowl 50. Not coincidentally. Again, memorable performance in the Super Bowl. That Super Bowl was on the 38th day of the year. Prince equals 38. So does death, so does killing, so does murder. Another number we see oftentimes. So we'll leave it there, true seeker, RIP to this man. Again, all of these people are killed because at some point in their life, you know, they signed with the tyrants. Tyrants control the world of entertainment. You want to get known in this world, you got to sign up with this game. Then they'll put you out there on their radios, on their TVs, in their magazines. You know, they'll put your, their music out there in the stores. This is how the new world order operates. You want to get famous in this world, you got to sign your life away to this gang. And this is what happens. You know? They take your life when they're ready. So RIP until next time.